What's going on guys? It's your boy Shady Mike Gaming and welcome to another NBA 2K23 Jump Shot Fix. Today we've got Pelican star Brandon Ingram on deck. Um, Brandon Ingram is a fantastic player. Love working on his game. Love watching his game. So uh, this one was a lot of fun to make. Um, if you guys do like the content, please do remember to like the video. Really appreciate it. It helps out a ton. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out our, our future players that we're going to be working on. And comment down below. Let me know who you guys would like to see me work on next. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to take a look at with Brandon Ingram is his base. The really key determining factor here with Ingram's base. And now we do have multiple bases for him, but the number one thing we're trying to capture is the angle of his body. We have seen guys uh, put their right foot in front of their left, but Ingram, he's going to take it to the next level. He angles his entire body to the left throughout the shot. Um, that's going to give him a very pronounced shooting elbow. Uh, we're we're going to talk about that later when we talk about his release, when we break that down. Um, but for now, we want to focus on the angle of his body when he's shooting. Whole body is going to be looking to the left left. On occasion, we've also seen Ingram um, aggressively slant his right leg inwards. I mean, we will have a base that covers that as well. Now, when it comes to Ingram's release, which is the, really the most unique part of his shot, we're looking for two main details. Um, I'll start by saying this, due to the weird body models of 2K, um, it's actually tough to get a perfect arm angle for Ingram, but we did do our best. Uh, when Ingram shoots, he's gonna shoot, uh, he's got that shooting elbow pretty much perfectly straight towards the basket and that off hand, that off arm is gonna angle outwards. But the key there is his off hand is almost behind the basketball. That hand placement is key. Um, he has a large range of motion throughout that shot and he's got a pretty aggressive flick of that off hand once he releases it. Um, we were able to do a pretty good job of capturing those details and we've got a couple options when it comes to the bases that we're gonna use. All right, guys, so as we uh, head into the menu here and take a look at Brandon Ingram's jump shot, I want to first start with the release because we do have a couple different bases to go over. But um, we're going to blend the Trey Murphy release to 60 with Derek Fisher. Um, the release timing is personal preference. I'll be honest with you guys. I was actually messing around with very quick. Um, just gives a lot of those bases a very smooth motion. I just don't know if it's the most realistic thing. So I had it at normal, but, you know, you can do whatever you want with uh, the release timing so for the base uh, the first base I'm going to showcase for you guys here's the Dwayne Wade base I really really like this base because it has a nice dip and it has a nice firm landing um the other uh, bases the Bogdanovich base is probably the most accurate in the way Ingram uh, angles his body the only issue I had with it is kind of towards the ending of the animation there's no like animation it kind of just ends and it can sometimes look a little bit weird um, same thing with the Ricky Rubio base now we use that Rubio base for when he has that aggressive slant on that right leg now I will say this about the Rubio base it has the same issue as the Bogdanovich base uh, in that it doesn't always end very cleanly but for some reason the release timing with this base was very good and very easy for me so uh, I was able to really green a whole lot of shots with the Rubio base for some reason so if you do use shot timing that might be the go-to for you if you use shot timing I'd probably recommend the Bogdanovich or Rubio bases just because you know you get all of those animations after the shot and they look very very good if you're uh, more interested in shot uh, timing um, excuse me, real real shooting percentage, uh, like myself, the Dwayne Wade base is probably going to be the go-to, and it's probably going to be the one that I use as well. Uh, as we move over to the moving jump shots, guys, for the free throw, we're going with free throw two. Um, you've got that shooting elbow tucked in, and you've got the accurate offhand as well. Um, pretty perfect to his 
uh, to his free throw form. Now, uh, this is actually the same free throw we used last year. Uh, they just changed the number. It used to be free throw 22, now it's free throw two. Um, for the pull up guys, we're going with Devin Booker. Um, this is a really, really good looking pull up for Ingram. I noticed on Ingram's pull ups, he starts with his legs wide. Um, and especially when he goes to the right, he's got that leg, that leg kick. It, it looks pretty much photo perfect to what we've seen from Ingram. So it looks really great there. Um, for the spin jumper, I, I'm going with normal. We went with normal last year. I have not changed that. Not going to change. It looks pretty decent uh, to what we've seen from Ingram and some of the footage that we've seen uh, for the hop jumper ah, I was a little bit on the fence on this one but I, I like Trey Burke he's got an exaggerated uh, plant and a hard step back especially when he's going to his left some of the alternatives I was thinking of I was thinking about Kevin Durant that's a, a good one it's new um, so it is a, a good one um, maybe not as accurate but I, I did like it and I also liked Harrison Barnes as well um, the issue with the Harrison Barnes one is it looks the best in the menu but for some reason like that animation right there that just played where he kind of fades backwards i just can't get it to trigger in game so i i like it in theory but i just can't get some of the animations to trigger so i, I like trey burke uh with kd and harrison barnes being the alternatives uh, as we head to the layups and the dunks guys for the layup package looking at brandon ingram's uh layups they're all very similar he, he is a long athlete i i think it's important not to overthink this one i think that's the best package for him we used it last year as well um we're gonna go ahead and take a look at his dunks uh primarily a two-handed dunker a lot of back scratchers things of that nature so i'll make sure i let those play out Uh, for the fade guys, um, another one that was pretty much photorealistic uh, to Ingram. I went with the, De the DeMar DeRozan fade. I'm pretty sure this is the same fade we used last year. They just renamed it. it regardless, it looks very accurate to the post fades we've seen from Ingram. He almost exclusively fades to his right. So that's what a lot of our, um, that's what a lot of our, our footage is going to show. And for the handles, guys, uh, this is actually default. I really like the pro signature size up. Looks good, and you're able to chain a lot of shots and step backs out of it. Um, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know how to even trigger half of the signature size up, so I don't spend a lot of time here. But this did still look very accurate to what we saw from Ingram in game, uh, as I showed in the intro video. All right, guys, and that's going to do it for our Brandon Ingram jump shot fix. Again, thank you so much for all of the support on the channel. Um, Be sure to follow me on all of my social networks. I'm everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. They're all at Shady Mike Gaming. Again, I appreciate all the support. I'll catch you guys in the next one. It's your boy Shady Mike. I'm signing out. Peace. Threes.